Hey, I'm Jess with Dialectic Healing, and I'm going to be talking about sports massage today. Specifically, what is it, different types, how long you need to rest after, who it's for, what not to do before and after, and what to wear. So what is a sports massage? Well, it's going to be a therapy that focuses on releasing and reducing the muscle tension. It's going to improve your circulation, but also encourage the removal of products such as lactic acid that is produced during high intensity activity. It can help relax the body and typically it's going to involve stretching and active range of motion. All of this helps promote recovery and reduce the chances of muscle injury so that you as the athlete can keep performing at your best. A sports massage pinpoints the specific areas that tend to be problematic. Just think of sports massage therapy as a more focused deep tissue massage. So a sports massage is kind of broken up into three main different types. The first you'll have the pre-event, which tends to be lighter and quicker, and it's there just to warm up your muscles and your joints right before game time. There'll be a post-event option where that's going to be a little deeper and slower of a modality designed as your cool down. Now the maintenance massage is going to be at someone's office and it's going to be a much longer session, an hour to an hour and a half. It's there just for recovery and injury prevention. So how long should you rest after a sports massage? 24 to 48 hours after a massage to allow for proper muscle recovery. You shouldn't work out within this time frame either, but a light exercise or stretching is always good. The day that you get a massage, just please just think of it as your rest day. If you hate that term, fine, then call it your get strong day. Just something to remember. And this is a really big one for me. There is no such thing as no pain, no gain when it comes to massage. Remember, pain is there as a signal to tell you to stop doing what you're doing. Now, obviously, when you're working out, you want to get stronger. So when you're pushing your body to the point where it feels sore or broken down, that is kind of the goal. So let me explain. This is kind of a misunderstood point. You do not gain strength while you're working out. Let me say that again. You do not gain strength while you are working out. While you're working out, you are physically breaking and damaging your muscle tissue. However, you need to do this in order for the body to naturally come in and do what it does best. It will repair those muscles so that you are more dense than you were before, hence how you get stronger. So you need those get strong days or those rest days in between your workouts to allow your body to get stronger and denser. So plan your maintenance massage on those days. So how do you know if you need a sports massage? Do you exercise regularly? Do you activate similar muscle groups consistently in those workouts? Are you currently a part of a training regimen for a specific upcoming event or are you on a team? So what to do and what not to do before and after your massage. Big one, number one, is avoid anything that's gonna dehydrate you. Alcohol, caffeine are big ones. Instead, just drink extra water. I would definitely spend time talking with your therapist beforehand to discuss any range of motion limitations or previous injuries that you may have had. If you haven't watched my video on how to find a massage therapist, I will leave a link down in the show notes. So this is always a question I get of what to wear. So for the pre and post event, obviously you're, guard, you're already going to be in your fitness attire, loose clothes, th that's gonna be what you wanna wear. However, for the maintenance massage, loose clothes or down to your comfort level, depending on the style of the therapist that you're going to see. Again, have that discussion with them prior to booking your session. And that's it. Sports massage in a nutshell. I'm Jess, acupuncturist and massage therapist, and I hope this information was helpful for you. 
If so, please hit the like button and subscribe to catch future videos. Until next time, be well.